Today what we're going to do is we're going to cook uh, a trench stew, but this time using corned beef. Right, the basic, basic ingredients that we've got, and I've got, I've got actually more here than what you would have needed for the first, I've probably done for two of this, is a turnip, a potato, and a couple of carrots. That's a larger carrot cut down. This would roughly do for about two people actually, including the, the corned beef. The recipe is always say half a tin of corned beef. Um, I'm sure most soldiers could have managed half a tin of corned beef. Um, so what all I'm going to do first is I'm going to dice it. I'm going to dice it again small as I've explained in some of the other videos because it cooks an awful lot quicker. And then you can just add the corned beef to it. Um, but that's why I'm going to cut it um, small. While I'm doing this I'll give you a couple of, of other recipes that I've, I've heard um, that people used. The ma more or less most of it's on the same line. That's why in the First World War they said that a lot of the food that they got was um, all the same. It tasted the same and it looked the same. So I'll just start putting these to smell fine dice now. This will have been a basic, a basic recipe that most of the other troops would have used if you're cooking for yourself. I'm sure the field kitchens used to do similar to this. There's also an American version of it, which is caught, which is. Uh, which is a hash, which is a is a corned beef hash. Um, it's similar to it's similar to this, except <clears throat> they actually fry the corned beef and they fry the potatoes um, in a mess tin, and they do the, the veg separate, including onions, and then they they add the two together. Some of them recipes have got things like um, tinned tomatoes in it. They've also got sweet corn. A mess tin, it's a, it's, this is just a, a modern mess tin on the go. I've got some water in there, a pint of water, and I've got some stock in there. And to that, I'm going to add my vegetables and potatoes. And all we're going to do is just cook this until it's nice and soft. And that's doing nicely now, it's probably about halfway through its, uh, through its cooking process. Obviously, as soon as it gets soft I can, uh, I can then add the corned beef. And the potatoes being in the mix will, uh, will thicken this particular stew up. Um, like I said before, I'm sure that there's lots of different variations that people will have, will have used, but it will have been on the basic same principle. Stew's a, a stew really. Our stew's going middly now, so I'm going to add our corn beef into it. To the, to the potatoes and veg. John and last week I made myself some homemade hard tack. It is basically flour, water and salt and it keeps for years and it can keep for years. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of this bis of this uh, hard tack biscuit to our stew. Just as a little, it's quite thick now but I'm just going to see what it comes out like. Just to break it up. You can of course soak this biscuit, that's why it's called hard tack, but it will eventually break up. Well I've got the cup of tape, which is rather nice. And just as we speak. The stew is now completely cooked. And it'll dry the nice actually. That 
Sache hier stachen. That is really nice. I'm not sure every, about every day, like they have told you. However, it is a really nice stew. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, please.